And what exactly are we doing here? Well, just a little Christmas spirit, my friend. Picking up a little Christmas spirit. About right here. Did you want it on top? The red one on top? Yeah. There it is. What do you think? Perfect. <laughs> Looks like it's all done. Hey, look who's here. Mommy, Victor. <laughs> you too. Well, what do you think? It looks really nice. <laughs> Look, at Daddy's place, every tree is a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, I figured instead of one Christmas tree, just decorate the whole forest. Did a good job, Larry. <laughs> yeah. The setting's almost perfect. Almost perfect? What are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. Well, you know, except for the lack of snow, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. I can't control Mother Nature, for Pete's sake. <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless you had your own snow-making machine. <laughs> Like I do. Snowmaking machine. Mm -hmm. Snow? Does that mean we can make a snowman? Well, you can't. Absolutely. Yay! <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Bye. All right, darling. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. OK. It looks nice. Thank you. Mm. Bye. Yeah, you did get it. <laughs> see you later. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> she wants snow, huh? I can do snow. See you later, sweetheart. Bye-bye, Daddy! Bye-bye, Daddy! So, what did you and Larry do today? Hi, this is Jeffrey calling from Toy Traders. Well, I'm calling to tell you some really, really good news. We just got more Harrison Bears in. Let me see. First come, first serve. And what time do you open? We'll see you then. You're coming up next! Good job, Claude. One second. Caught me off guard. Caught you off guard? You signed up to do it. My seven-year-old grandma could have done better than that. You might as well just move out of the country. That's embarrassing. One second. Down with Baxter Boxes! Down with Baxter Boxes! As we reported earlier, Channel One News has learned that Victor Baxter, president and CEO of Baxter Boxes, has been responsible for buying up and hoarding the popular Harrison Talking Bear. This has been confirmed just minutes ago by Baxter Boxes' longtime head of security, Nate Welling. And now, as you can see, there are many upset parents who are calling for a boycott of the tree lighting and Baxter Boxes. Hey, there's the Baxter Box truck. Yeah, let's get him. Oh, Maggie, I don't know what to do. I'm running out of ideas and I'm running out of time. Well, Larry, the truth is that Noelle will love you exactly the same, whether you give her that toy or not. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Don't lose faith, Larry. I'm sure you'll find a way to give her a great Christmas. Yeah, well, I'll figure something out. That kind of money just lying around. Well, we'll see. Help me up. I'm coming, I'm gonna quit eating Cheetos. Well, there goes a the new boat fund. There goes my flat screen TV fund. This is gonna hurt, but I gotta do it.
My dream trip to Branson fun. Say bye bye to my fishing rod fun. And my semi sort of new, brand new truck fund. <laughs> now you know I love her. And finally, boy, what I want to do for my daughter. The front row ticket to the Oak Ridge Boys concert fund. Oh, giddy up, oom, um, papa, bye bye. Why don't you just keep it all in one place? Well, you got to keep your account straight. Yeah, that's economics 101, son. Now, let me count this up. 81, 82, 83, 84, $385.72. Uh, I'm $115 short. What are you doing? There. $120. Now you got $5 left over. Carter, are you serious? Yep, I got my Christmas bonus. Do not appreciate it. I'll pay you back every cent. No need to, my friend. That's my Christmas present to Noel. And to you. You're a dadgum good friend. That's what you are. Thank you. And I ain't got many of them. I think I'm gonna wait in the car. I ain't going in there by myself. You're coming with me. <laughs> 